Hey everyone, this is Nick, and while the Steam Deck is a wonderful handheld gaming console for those of us who live mostly in Steam, Steam isn't the only launcher there is anymore. The Epic Game Store has carved itself a nice niche by offering free games basically all the time. I only own two games out of my 70 games library, I only bought two of them. But still, you might want to run some Epic games on this thing. And fortunately, the deck is very versatile, SteamOS is as well, and so in this video, I'm going to show you how to run your Epic Games on the Steam Deck. Just like the Steam Deck could run today's sponsor, a nice little extension to protect your privacy. Thanks to Startpage for sponsoring this video. You might already have heard about Startpage as a search engine that uses Google results, but anonymizing them and removing every single point of data that Google could use to track you and your searches. But now they've launched a new extension called Startpage Privacy Protection. It's an extension for Chrome and Firefox, but you can also install it on any Chromium-based browser. What it does is simple. It will set your default search engine to start page, but you can still change that back if you prefer another private search engine. It will send do not track signals to all websites you visit. It will block any third-party tracking script, and it will replace all social media, video and music site tracking with click to activate controls. On top of that, it will display a privacy rating for each site based on its behavior before everything was blocked. And it will also give you a complete privacy report to let you know what you blocked all throughout your browsing session. Oh, and if you're afraid that it's going to break some websites that you visit, you can tell the extension to let some cookies or some tracker scripts pass through the extension just so the website can work. If you want to try out that new extension, just follow the link in the description below. The Epic Game Store doesn't yet have an official client for the Steam Deck or for Linux, but thankfully we have the next best thing, which is called Heroic Games Launcher. You could still use workarounds to install the official Epic Game Store's client, but this would give you a way more limited experience than what you will get with Heroic Games Launcher. Namely, Heroic lets you configure each game individually to make sure that they run as best as they can. And the official Epic Game Store client, if you install it on the Steam Deck or on Linux, will have one configuration for all games. So a lot of them might not even run at all when they would with Heroic. So to install the Heroic Games Launcher, we'll need to go into the desktop mode of the Steam Deck. So go to your Steam menu, then to Power, and hit switch to desktop. Just remember to use a mouse and keyboard, either through Bluetooth or plugged in via a USB-C hub, because navigating that desktop with the right touch surface can be fiddly and you don't get an on-screen keyboard. The desktop mode has an app store called Discover. It's the blue shopping bag in the main bottom bar right after the Steam Deck logo. That's also your menu. Okay, small confession. When I recorded the other part of this video, the Heroic Games launcher was way harder to install. So I had prepared a tutorial with command line and stuff like that. Fortunately, there's been some improvements and you don't need to sit through all that. All you need to do is open the Discover App Store, type Heroic, click install, and then you're done. So now we can see how to use Heroic, how to install your games, and how to configure each game so that it runs perfectly. Okay, now let's see how to use Heroic and what it can do. It's super easy. Go ahead, open it. Once Heroic is open, just log in to your Epic Games account using the login buttons that appear by default. After a short loading time, your games will appear in the library. You can now search, download them, update them, download any DLC, and run them. You also have a filter to only display installed games. You can also access the Epic Games Store with the Store tab on the left and even grab these free games if you want. The settings have a few interesting things you can change. By default, your games will install in a Games folder in your main user directory. You can change that there and even select the SD card as the default location if you want. To do that, hit the little folder icon. Then, in the file manager that opens, go to Other Locations in the sidebar, then Computer, Run, Media, then the SD card name. Mine was named MMCB something once I formatted it using the Steam Deck. Open this, click choose, and you now have changed the default install path. In the other settings, you can also toggle an FPS counter, choose to run your games offline, or create shortcuts automatically after installing a game. Of course, these games will run using the same technology that Valve uses in Steam, which is called Proton. This means that not all games will work. To check which games have compatibility, you can click a game, then the Tools tab, and click Check Compatibility. It will take you to ProtonDB, the ultimate resource to see what runs and what doesn't. By default, Heroic will use the latest official version of Proton, but if the compatibility reports tell you that a game runs better with another version, you can also install that. Just use the Wine Manager in the bottom left of Heroic, 
and install the version you need for a specific game. Once that's done, head over to the library, hover over the game and click the little cog icon. There, you have a drop-down called Wine Version, which lets you choose the version of Wine or Proton, those things are basically the same thing, you need to use to run that game. That's also where you can choose to sync saved games or turn on AutoSync to automatically keep your progress in sync with your other computers. You can also add launch arguments to the game, for example, to skip cinematics in certain titles. And you're all set. Your games should use the Steam Deck controls as a controller and they should run pretty well, provided that they're compatible. But what if you actually want to run these games from the main Steam Deck interface without going to the desktop mode? Well, that's easy. Just open the desktop Steam client in the desktop mode, hit the games menu, then add non-Steam game and find the shortcut for the Heroic Games launcher. Check that and click add selected programs. After that, you can just go back to SteamOS mode by clicking on the shortcut on your desktop. In your library, you'll find the Heroic launcher in the non-Steam section. Just click it and it will run. You can now navigate it using the Steam Deck controls and install or run any game you want directly from there. If you want to add an icon to it, you can't seem to do it from the DeX interface just yet, so you'll have to use the desktop mode to add one. Also, be aware that some of these games might have some pop-ups or some launchers that appear, and to navigate these, you can either use touch or you can use the right touch surface on your Steam Deck to pop up a mouse cursor and click wherever you want to click. Some features of the Heroic Games launcher will also not work super well in SteamOS mode, like uninstalling a title or anything that opens a window. It, it might flicker and be weird to use for a while. Now let's see a few examples of the games I could run through the Heroic Games launcher on my Steam Deck. And that's it, a lot of titles will run just fine. Some won't support controllers all that well, some won't run at all because of anti-cheat, but you'll still be able to play a sizable portion of your games through Heroic. Now, of course, some of you might have games on Origin, Battle.net, Ubisoft Connect, GOG or other services. And for that, stay tuned. I'll have something for you very soon. Just like today's sponsor has something for you if you're looking for a Linux device. Slimbook makes Linux laptops and desktops from the smallest form factor with the Slimbook Zero to the biggest all-in-one or the biggest gaming laptops. Their stuff is excellent. Like for example, the Slimbook Essential. It is their most affordable Ultrabook with a great build quality, great screen, great keyboard and good internals. Check out the link in the description below if you need a new Linux device, they're really worth it. Now thanks everyone for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't stay to drop a like, a subscribe, a, a turn on the notification bell thingy, to drop a comment. And if you didn't like the video, it's okay, you can tell me in the comments, you can even hit that dislike button, it's cool. If you want to help me do more of these videos, you can also join my Patreon subscribers or my YouTube members. Both of them get access to the weekly Patreon cast and the right to vote on the next topics I'll cover. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!